Hi. Let's learn about the guns and butter curve today. The guns and butter curve is the classic economic example of the production possibility curve, which demonstrates the idea of opportunity cost. In a theoretical economy with only two goods, a choice must be made between how much of each good to produce. As an economy produces more guns it must reduce its production of butter, food, and vice versa. In the chart, the curve represents all possible choices of production for the economy. The dots represent two possible choices of outputs. The point here is that every choice has an opportunity cost, you can get more of something only by giving up something else. Also, you'll notice that the curve is the limit of production. You cannot produce outside the curve unless there is an increase in productivity. The guns and butter curve charts the trade-off that occurs within the limits of production in a given economy. Money spent on the development and manufacture of jet fighters, for example, cannot be invested in critical infrastructure repairs such as the replacement of aging bridges. If a nation chooses to focus on military buildup, the only way for its domestic production needs to be met is through an overall elevation of production or productivity. Such an increase would allow for non-military products to increase even as the military buildup was underway. The constraints of the guns and butter curve can be used to illustrate the strain put on Cold War era nations that focused on military buildup while consumer goods suffered in response. Sustained pressure to fulfill military needs for defense was a contributing factor in the dissolution of the former Soviet Union, which experienced shortages on food, houses, and other domestic necessities. Part of the issue was the concerted effort to keep up with defense spending in the United States. The innovations and productivity growth in the wider U.S. economy during the Cold War era generated the wealth and revenue for the U.S. government to undertake a program of massive military spending. Here are three key takeaways. 1. The guns and butter curve postulates that you can only gain something if something else is given in return. 2. The curve shows that in an economy with only two products, you cannot outproduce the curve without increasing productivity. 3. A common example of the guns and butter curve is the Soviet Union during the Cold War. The Soviet Union focused so much on military might that they fell short in meeting many of the basic needs of their citizens such as access to food, healthcare, and education. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.